Hi there, I'm Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm very excited today to show you Angular String Evolutions. This string library was recorded at Airedale, an artisan studio with an enviable array of vintage mics and a beautiful vintage Kadak desk for a warm, vibrant and intense sound. This library provides instant inspiration and an incredibly quick and easy way to add movement and a unique sound world to your tracks. With a plugboard layout similar to the legendary Putney synth, this is intuitive and great fun to use. Let's dive straight in. Let's have a look at how the library works. So here is the central brain of the operation, which is the plug board. If you hover over any of the individual pegs in the peg board, you'll see a description appear in the bottom left corner of the interface, which describes exactly the performance of that evolution. So for example, the first evolution is the simplest, tender, lyrical, um, a great starting point, or as a pedal for the other evolutions. Now, one of the ways of using this library is to um, use it in, in its entirety as the only sound source. But another way which is really useful is to take this, which is a chamber sized string library recorded in a reasonably dry stage acoustic, and to use that with your other sounds to give an extra dimension to the sound of your tracks. If we command click any of the pegs, then that selects that evolution for the entire range of the keyboard. And if I just played that simple first evolution, This gives you a great basic sound from which to start. If you want to look at the different individual sections, you've got the simple section at the bottom, then we progress through really quite scary sounds and then to tense sounds at the top of the pegboard. And there are different ways of selecting the pegs. You can either do this manually, so you can select a certain note range to be a certain evolution, or you can randomize within different areas. So feeling lucky gives you a randomization across the whole pegboard. So as you can see here, we've got some representation from all three areas. And if I just play something. You can hear some really interesting stuff happening there. If there's a certain sound that you get after randomizing that you don't want, you simply work out where that is. Maybe it's this note. I can see that flashing as I play that note, and that's the E4 key center. And I just simply pick a different evolution for that. And you can hear for this particular evolution, we have these ricochets that gradually creep into the sound. If you want to randomize within a specific area, you can either randomize within the visible area, and this enables you to maybe balance up by sight a certain amount of scary with a certain amount of simple. If I click here, you can randomize within the category simple or scary, or just to use the tense sound on its own. You can also then take the pegboard as it is and walk it step by step and as you can see, each peg will move in one direction, um, but that direction will be random. So it'll either go up or down and they're all individually controlled. So it just gives you lots and lots of ways to very quickly find a creative and inspiring collection of sounds under your fingertips. It's also interesting to play in a part into the sequencer. 
you can either take a starting point as one of the presets or maybe you found a good randomization. You can save that down and then just try walking it to stay within the same kind of sound world, but just vary things a little bit and see if you can find something that gives you something extra which you wouldn't have expected. And it's that kind of serendipity that gives you an extra dimension to what you're writing. By building the library in our own plugin, we've also been able to collate all of the microphone or sound choices into one patch. So it's now possible to take the close sound, if I just pull the reverb right down, to take the close sound and then also one of the kind of time stretch type sounds and play those at the same time. This gives you a really beautiful kind of 3D texture to the sound. If I show you what those are like on their own, so let's just turn off the time stretch and put on just the close. And then let's turn the close off and just listen to the stretch. There's also a certain amount of curation that's gone into these, um, the times two and times eight, we call them, but they're kind of one stretch version and one super, super stretch version to create something that works really well within the context of these stretching. So there might be sections of the sample that have been selected because they sound particularly good and then reversed and blended together. Um, and that gives you a lot of scope for creativity. If we just listen to the super stretch version of that particular sound. That's got a really interesting texture as well. So what I would tend to do is if I wanted to get a, a really uh, multi-layered sound is to take these and add them together, but just sit them behind the close. And if you listen to that. So we might want to lengthen the attack and then also lengthen the release of this sound. So we get this uh, more floaty effect. So even before you really start diving in, there's lots and lots of very, very quick tweaks that you can make to the sound to tailor it exactly to the thing that you're trying to achieve. Let's have a listen to some of the other sounds within the mic choices. Tweaked is a curated version of the sound where we've not only gone into the extended sample and found interesting places to start the playback, but also have treated this with external outboard effects as well. And they, and they vary from one region to another. So it's, um, it's a really great way. If I pull back up the pegboard and we take, for example, this plucked sound. So that's a really great sound. If we put that back together with the original sound. And of course, you can just balance the taste um, exactly how much of that kind of super tweaked sound you want in there. Let's turn that off for a minute and check out the ambient version. Now, as you can hear, this almost sounds like the return from a very long reverb. It's curated again, so there are various different techniques that we've used to create this sound. But even on its own, you can get some really beautiful pad sounds from this. But it's when you blend it back in with the close that you really get that magic. Check this out. Now, 
while we're here, let's look at the final sound, which is the distorted sound. Fantastic effect just on its own. But if you again blend this back in with the original sound. We've got a great selection of presets that are all set up ready to go in here. And if we check out a couple of those. So as you can hear, an incredibly wide variety of sounds. And this is all focused towards the kind of the angular end of what you can do with strings that's slightly more edgy and not necessarily fully horror, but um, certainly the tense, scary aspect to what strings can do. And these are the techniques that you tend not to find in many string library recordings. And having these evolving over time gives you an extra dimension of control. So that's a brief look at angular string evolutions, our chamber sized string library tilted towards that scarier, tense sound with all these great evolving textures, pure inspiration. It's created within its own plugin format, so nothing else to load it into, just load and go in your DAW of choice. Thank you very much for watching. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye bye.